have to say that light shines a little brighter since Drew and Azar. Through your relationship with Drew, we've all seen you blossom into an amazing wife and mother. You are brilliant, kind, self-aware, hardworking, and dedicated. All of those wonderful qualities pale in comparison to the way that you love the people that mean the most to you. Drew, you are a mother-in-law's blessing. I appreciate you. The first day that I met you, I knew you were a perfect match for my Sinesia. And I could not have asked for a better son, provider, protector, father, or husband for my baby girl. And to our daughter, Sinesia, we are so grateful to God that Drew chose you, a beautiful, smart, and loving woman, to be his beloved wife. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy the bountiful spread that we have abundance and among us, and the family, and the friends, and the celebration. You both are blessed to have found one another. If it ever gets hard, lean on your faith, because God will guide you through. Seeing you in a headshot picture at a bowling alley on Jazz's IG page, I thought to myself, wow, who was that? And that is exactly what I said to Jazz. A couple days went by and I received a DM from you that consisted of your name, your interests in me, and a phone number. Drew is a good dude, man. I'm happy that she landed with Andrew. I mean that from the bottom of my heart, man. Like any parent, that's all they can wish for is that their daughter finds somebody that yokes with them. You too today, and um, man, I ain't finna cry, but uh, mom and dad, Appreciate you too for raising the man you have because without him, I don't think I would have be have made it this far. Honestly, you've been a bigger inspiration to me since I came out of the womb, man. Whenever Drew says he's going to do something, he's going to do something. He's very decisive, very steady. Told me that, and I knew where he was where he was at in his life, I was like, wow, she must be special. And so Sin, I met you and I was like, oh yeah, this is it. And I just seen you guys grow individually and together at the same time has been amazing. I still remember our second date like it was yesterday. The first one was new and exciting, but the second date was the beginning. It was New Year's Eve, and I'd asked you if you wanted to come spend the holiday with my family for New Year's Day 2016. To my surprise, you said you'd love to. Immediately, my family wasted no time cracking jokes and being embarrassed. Little did they know, you are a man who holds a quiet confidence. So of course you stood your ground and fit right in. I spent that night playing board games, eating Scott's famous fried chicken, getting subtly grilled by my mother, and followed around by my little sister. That night connected us from then on. I mean, you did meet my family, so we went together real bad at that point. We were locked in. Receiving my family's approval of you meant the world to me because it meant that we could potentially have more nights like our second date, and that we did. As the date went on, I did not want it to end. When I returned home from that night, I went over my thoughts about you when I had got home. I saw a seriousness about you that I still have a hard time giving words to. 
and kindness. Not niceness, kindness. Meaning you told the truth about how you felt about things. From that night on, she was attached to my hip like a holster. Fast forward, I decided to take the knee in August 2019. You said yes, and we decided to get married in May 19th, 2020, and have a wedding on a later date, and two days later. You are a giant to me, full of love, strength, sacrifice, and patience. You had to have a lot of patience, because as you know, I tried to run real bad. You have been exceptional father to Azari. I literally beyond anything I could imagine. Now we have our baby number two coming, which is if you want to tell everyone. Do I know? Yeah. You want to tell everyone? It's a boy, y'all. <laughs> you can now celebrate this renewal of vows with a sign of affection. Brother Drew, you may kiss your bride. Right now, I just want to say thank you to the whole clan that's here, everyone who sewed into this man of God, because this guy is some kind of special son. And I love you, and I am so godly proud of you. Aaron and Rachel. Man, I'm just thankful for, for both of you. I pray God continues to bless your life. It's been a blessing, both of you. I don't even know how to embody like how you what you mean to me, your person, who you are. Thank you, Drew, for being who you are and creating a safe space for my friend to be soft, welcome love, enter motherhood and be confident in all that she is and becoming. I'm so happy for both of you. I love you. Congratulations.